to The Rundown with Ramon. My name is Ramon Ray, publisher of ZoneofGenius.com, and you can check me out also at RamonRay.com. Today, we're going to enter into a topic that half of you fear with fear and trembling. You don't like it, or you like it, but not for you. Other half of you, kind of like me and my friend Robert, all day long. Give me the mic, give me the camera. So welcome to a great uh, 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 topic today, all about video, video marketing, video for business, and we may go into other things. Robert and I were talking about online, about our health and getting older and family and all those things. So we'll see where it goes. But Robert Weiss, thanks for being here today. You and I have known each other for many years and glad to have you here. How are you feeling today? Great, man. Just the, your, your energy is contagious. And let me tell everybody a story about Ramon. We did a, um, this is way back when um, we did this co-presentation with, uh, with Kendra. She was a constant contact you know, uh, representative. And I think we had like 40 people signed up for this event. And it was like a small workshop in a conference room. And I was like, so excited. This was when I just started my business and had 40 people there that we're going to talk to with you. And it rained that day. And in New York City, when it rains, like hardly anybody comes out. I think we had seven people there. Right. So I'm so excited to have 40 people there and seven show up. And, you know, you went first. You brought your A game to that. And from that day, you taught me if it's seven people or 700 people, you bring your A game all the time. So, you know, kudos to you for teaching me that early, early on in my business. Robert, what a, way to, all the time, man. what a way to start off an interview. Really, I just want to say thank you for sharing that. You know, as you know, I'm an extrovert. I share a lot, but you didn't have to say that. And and it just made me feel good. And I appreciate you because I, I share that with so many people. Rarely do I hear that. So really, you, you, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm two degrees away from tearing up and I'm not joking. Thank you. It meant a lot to me. So Robert, thank you so much. Robert Weiss, uh, multivision digital video videographer extraordinaire, a whole team editing video and more. You say it better than me though, Robert. Talk to the people who you are, who you serve, what is multivision digital. Unpack a bit, take your time a bit about who you are and the company. Then we'll get into some of the questions about video marketing. Sure. So let's uh, so we are all about video, 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 video. That's what we do, you know, we do video. Uh, we serve businesses um, from a B2B standpoint, predominantly. We have a B2C practice as well. We have a specific practice that focuses on law firms specifically and manufacturing specifically. Those are some of the, the we've got a couple of kind of niches within our practice, but it's all video. One of the myths that people have, and we'll talk about some of these myths today, is one video is all I need. Well, if you think about what you're doing now from a content creation standpoint, businesses are creating content for their website, for their product pages, for their service pages, for their recruiting pages, for social media, for SEO purposes, for nurturing, for training, um, for DEI, sustainability, for um, crisis communication, that they're creating content for that. Video is just content. So the same thought and methodology that applies to planning for business and where you're going to spend your, your time, money, and investments in creating that content is the same methodology, but you, you know, but what video does more than any other form of digital content is explain things quickly, showcase people, be able to show versus tell, and PS, nobody interrupts a video. People love watching video. They don't like reading. So therefore, when you have video that aligns to your business strategy, the only thing that happens is your business je uh, business objectives are achieved. I love that, Robert. One question that came to mind, and again, actually, what I want you to do is steer the conversation. You should just have this by yourself, and I should just mute my video and mute my mic. Um, but Robert, talk to us. One thing that really came to mind, is there a difference between, I don't even know how to ask you this, reels, short form, social, Snapchat, hey, everybody, I'm walking on the block today, all this stuff I do, versus 
Doesn't have to be long, but a seven minute, 10 minute. Hey, my name is Frederick from so-and-so law firm. Good video, I'm not mocking, a good video. But is there a difference between that stuff? And again, feel free to reword the question, but kind of the short form, a little more, you know, the, the big captions come on versus other types or is it all good? Or can you help me under unpack that, that type of different video? <clears throat> short answer is, is yes. Okay. All right. A hundred percent. And the, uh, they, they all serve a different business objective uh, oh. and a different business purpose. Right. So the, you know, short form stuff that you might do DIY. Um, yeah. You, 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 you need that. When I say you, I'm talking about businesses out there, whether it's small, medium or large. Okay. Mm -hmm. So businesses need that content. Is it the same piece of content that somebody is going to watch AKA eight minutes because they're going to make a $2 million purchase, right? Everybody says, oh, I need short videos. Well, yeah, you do for social because the intention spans like that. But is somebody who's making a $2 million purchase going to TikTok or Reels to make buying decisions to get informed? No, they're not. They're that information, AKA video, AKA brochures, AKA PowerPoint presentations, is typically delivered by a salesperson through a very logistical buying process. So we're sticking with that logistical buying process as the strategy. And then we're creating content for that strategy. And let me just share my screen here to, to, to show just one example of that, that we did um, this high level sales overview video of a steel inspection line, right? And, and if people can see that, I'll kind of highlight my, my cursor. This whole um, like machine process is the entire steel line. So mm -hmm. it's made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts to that entire line, okay? That video, the high level sales video was eight minutes, I think it was eight minutes and 18 seconds long, okay? That was, this is about a $2 million purchase. And then just to, to showcase the screen, we also teased out different pieces of that line to go into the data acquisition, magnetic transfer, automatic uh, transfer coil, parts of that where we teased them out and really, really did a deep dive into that specific part of the line. Why? Because that's what buyers wanted to know, right? They didn't know about the line, so they spent eight minutes watching that entire video. Now people say, oh my gosh, that's so long. Well, what's the alternative? Reading, mm -hmm. being PowerPointed to boredom, or having to go there, spending a lot of time, money, and effort, right? So the tactic is B2B enterprise-level sales, right? Buying process is the distribution channel, mainly delivered by salespeople. Now let's take the flip side of that. TikTok selfie videos, right? Completely different, right? So this goes back to the first thing I said, you're creating the right content for the right place at the right time. Video is the same. So businesses, you know, need both of those. Yeah. This question, Robert, is probably way too broad, but again, and again, I'm only fed what I click, you know, me being a content marketer, I'm in the more short form video side, but do you feel that we've lost the headlines of long form video because they're just reminding me this is a gem do the short form stuff get all the attention even my own business robert but maybe some people are stopping saying hey if we can help you if we can serve you if you can if you want to buy this two million dollar thing click and buy what i'm hearing maybe one thought again i need i know you need to think about the exact client longer but is no say hey more information now guide them to the nine minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, 40 minute, because that buyer who's interested, now they're going to be looking and seeing it and they'll call you or whatever. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? Don't just stop at the short form buy, short form buy. How can you use video even for that buyer who's interested? Now pull them in more with a possibly longer form, well done video. Is that a fair that statement? Yeah, it's just developing the funnel, right? There we go. That's really what it is. And everybody has different funnels. This particular organization, they're not on TikTok. They don't need to be on TikTok. Anything they're on TikTok or they're, they're probably on LinkedIn doing more educational mm -hmm. top videos because nobody's going to be like, hey, get this machine and 
go into a buy $2 million buying cycle, right? But maybe there's problems that they use TikTok on and say, like, hey, are you having your, you know, is your steel coming out crooked, right? You need the inspection line. Like maybe that's, you know, like the top level stuff, but I, I don't know because they don't use TikTok, right? But there's more consumer driven companies or personalities that use TikTok and those forms to drive traffic back to long form content. We are working with a celebrity now that does that, right? So we're doing uh, YouTube videos that are 19 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, 27 minutes, but they're using those short form social channels. So every time we do an episode, you know, she's on her phone going like this to create that short form content, exactly what you said to drive traffic back to YouTube and those other um, long form uh, channels. I love that. At a high level, Robert, can you guide us through, uh, maybe let's talk about two things and you get, feel free to push back, but uh, let's talk about maybe the creation of video. Give us an example of Ramon. Here's a, for example, a client comes to us, comes to Multivision Digital, talks to Robert Weiss and team, Multivision Digital, and says, Robert, we want to work with you. Maybe let's, if that's a fair question, let's talk about the creation side, how that works. And then maybe we can give some tips on marketing. Does that sound like a fair way to so good. So, and one more time, Robert, give your full name and the name of your company, how we can reach you. Let's pause a minute and tell people what you do, who you serve, and how we can reach you. Do that, please. Uh, this is Robert Weiss, uh, Multivision Digital. We do video, 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 and video. Uh, head over to multivisiondigital.com. That's the best way to reach me. It's always there. And my contact information and email address is at the top of the page. Love that. So, Robert, is that fair? Let's let that maybe let's go there. Talk about people start want to work with you before we get to the video marketing, or maybe we do, but maybe we can split it into two halves. How do we start? That company's like we could do more video. What do you tell the average basic company? What happens? Uh, well, we want to start with the with the the strategy first. And okay. I share my screen again here. Sure. Um, the first thing you do when you start thinking about video is to forget about video. Okay. Right? Content, content, content. So what is your, what is your long-term goal? Is it, I want to develop my TikTok um, platform? Is it, do I want to sell machines? Do I want to rank on SEO? Mm. That's your business goal. And then we go into the distribution. Okay. What is your distribution? Is TikTok developed or do you need to develop? Uh, are you going to pay for social media versus earned, right? Um, are you gonna advertise in a magazine, an industry publication, or are you gonna give it to sales team? So those are the first two things. And note, I didn't say anything about creating the video yet, right? Mm. So strategy, distribution, then we talk about the content. Then we talk about the actually the project. And when you think video, you should not think one video. There's many, many times, I would say 80% of the time that we're creating more than one video at a time because what that allows the client to do is amortize the investment of the professional services, of the cameras and equipment to go somewhere and do all the shooting to do that one video. But we do many videos. Again, going back to that Andrits example, we did that top level eight minute sales video, but then we did four follow-up videos, right? All in one package at one time, a lot more value to them versus that, that one. So, I love that. Yeah. It's called, it's called batch producing. That's the terminology that I want everybody to write down. And if you remember this, the question is, would you ever bake one cookie? Um, I, can I answer that, Robert? Can I just answer that? No, I'm no, talking. there's a cookie place in Newark airport. I can't buy one, Robert. It's called, I forgot the name. It's a Newark airport terminal. A uh, it's, I'm going to, I'm getting ready to buy it in a few hours. Cause I'm heading out to the airport, Robert. You can't please continue. I just had to jump. When you said cookie, I just got distracted. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I guess Ramon does not bake cookies. Cause I didn't say buy. I said, well, bake. but okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like to get out all of the ingredients and spark the oven. And oh, I see. Yes. And clean it. It's not okay. worth it to make Got it. a cookie, right? So I get it now. A batch of cookies, right? So you want to batch produce as much as you can. So once you get into that, the question is like, okay, well, 
what am I going to invest and how do you do it? And I mean, that's part of the the secret sauce, I guess. Um, but if people are going to use a professional video company, be open with them in terms of budget. And I've got a slide here I can talk about budget because that's the number one question that everybody asks is like, all right, how much is it going to cost? Right. Sure. And it's not a matter of how much it's going to cost. It's really like, what do you, what do you want to invest? And then I can take that investment and take these five different main areas and pull all of them up or pull some of them down or some of them up based upon what you need. Right. Got it. So for example, um, in, and in I realize, Robert, I'm not sure how this will share on screen, but it may share well. So let's keep it there, but then take it and you can use it because I'm not sure how to share on TV screen, but it could come out well. I don't know how my editor do it. We'll see it. Go ahead, though. And I can I can send these as well. OK, cool. But I could do a video with with all of these things uh, pulled all the way up. Uh, or I can do a video without motion graphics and color correction. Guess which one's going to be cheaper? The one without. Right. So it's not a matter of like, hey, Robert, how much is this going to cost? Here's another slide <clears throat> with variables. And let me just tell the people who are audio what we're, what we're looking at here. Let me just pull it, make it bigger for myself. So variables we're looking at location, cameras, lights and equip uh, other things. Go ahead. Back to you. Mm -hmm. These are the five factors. Yeah. Reproduction, cameras and equipment, time, motion graphics, experience. And the, the next slide basically takes those those five areas and says, here's two situations where the first situation is one location with maybe one camera, you know, um, a, a small set of lights, small staff, we're doing motion graphics light, we're not doing anything heavy. And the other option is three locations, a lot more cameras, a lot more lights, a lot more staff, motion graphics heavy, guess which one we're still doing a one, two, three minute video. We're still doing the same length of video. The thing is that the option one versus option two is less involved, therefore will cost less. So people come to me and say, well, you know, and PS video production companies always want to do more, not because they're greedy, because there's so many things that go into making videos that people like that we know the more time, the more resources you can give us, the more we can do with that. And that's all that we want to do is make you an amazing video. We can still make you an amazing video at a lower budget. We just need to be able to know that so we can approach it differently. I love that. Three things I'm hearing then, Robert, about how to do great video and work with you, Multivision Digital or others, is one, start with what is the goal of the video. And stop me any time, but that's what I'm hearing. One, What's the goal of the video you want to do? Is it for this, if it's this, for sales, for branding, for lead generation, whatever one? Number two, then Robert Weiss of Multivision Digital is talking about what's the channels it may go on or how will we use it? Feel free to edit that in a second here. So that's number two. Number three, because I had it backwards. Number three, you're saying now, Ramo, we'll talk about the how we're going to do the video. What lighting, what not, what tripod, what not. But what I'm hearing you say is if you don't talk about what the purpose is first, you might as well even stop. Is that fair of what I'm hearing, Robert? Yep, that's correct, right? I've had um, people, like what, what, one of my best use cases here in, in that example is somebody came to me and is like, we need a video because my web guy said that we can rank for SEO better because video ranks better. And like, I was like, you're absolutely right, right? But uh, would you create one blog post to rank on, uh, so, or rank on search? He said, no, why would I do that? I'm like, would you make one phone call to a prospect? No. <laughs> would you send one email out? No. Why would you do one video? That's not, that's not the purpose of, you know, or, or the, the, what's going to rank you on SEO is one. So he had a decent budget. And what we did is we came up with a plan. I think we did seven videos six years ago that they're still using today and still generating them money because we took that budget and we made like FAQ questions and mm. they asked questions that people were searching on all the time and they're evergreen pieces of content. This is a uh, manufacturing technology that has been around for, for years, hasn't really changed in 30 or 40, 50 years. So we, these videos answered common questions and are still generating traffic and still generating conversions.
I love that. And what I mean, can you talk just talk about that, uh, Robert? SEO and video. Uh, to the is that because you're you're be able to somebody can talk easier, and then you take that, transcribe it, blog it, etc. Or is there something with the video technology that the YouTubes of the world like? Give us a little master class on that SEO and video. How that related, please. So I'll answer that backwards. So there's, there's Google and search engines don't search video yet, right? They they can't tell what is in video, then thus rank that, but great segue into a video first marketing strategy because what what you can do with video is a video first marketing strategy which is exactly what you said you take that video and you transcribe it right so that's exactly what we did with this use case right we took those faq videos which answered common questions they transcribed them maybe added a little bit more fluff to it right but then had all that text there and then um then you have text that aligns with the video that Google can read. Now, when people go to that page, the reason why video helps rank is because of something called dwell time. Dwell time means I go to your site and I stay there. Google says, wow, if you, if you did a search and then you went to that page and stayed there, that page must be valuable because you're staying there. You're not bouncing and then going back and continuing your search, right? And what video does is, well, there's so many things that video sure. does. When people see video, they click it and it gives them the most amount of information in the shortest amount of time. What does Google want for their customers? To give them the information in the shortest amount of time, right? So if they're seeing people go to that page and dwell, they're going to be like, hey, this page is more valuable. I'm going to rank that higher. Of course, you need all the sound SEO tactics and strategies in place from a content creation standpoint, metadata, sitemap, like all those things. Those things are assumed. That's what video does to help rank. I love that. I think that is powerful, Robert. Listen, um, get into a little politics here. Uh, talk about the smartphone, cell phone, which I know you've come across. For all I know, it could have impacted your business. But talk about the cell phone, smartphone, all the apps, cap cut, all the things that you know maybe your team uses and hiring a professional videographer, a professional video, you know, those fancy red camera things that all the cool guys and gals use, all that stuff. Talk to us how they work together. Don't. What do we need? Don't need. When do we hire somebody like you? When would you say, no, just not or both? Can you give us how we think about that? And I'm guessing learning from you maybe depends what's the goal that's what i'm guessing but robert back exactly. to you so we encourage our clients to do video uh, themselves through all <laughs> those well maybe not a red camera but you know through <laughs> not like the that. fancy not the five million dollar <laughs> camera robert <laughs> i'm not gonna buy that one i'll leave that to you <laughs> we want our clients to do video the, the question is you you just you talked about the tools mm. right you talked about the tools to create video. Some of them are less expensive than others. Video is a professional service, right? You know this because I don't know, seven, 10, eight years, whatever, when you first started being on video, same thing with me, by the way, mm -hmm. we, we weren't good, right? It takes a little while to understand how to be in front of the camera, how sure. to act, how to be able to be like, oh, I just messed up. Don't worry about it. Keep on going. Right. So there's your camera presence. And if you're not comfortable being on camera, don't do video yourself. Mm -hmm. Hire a professional because they're going to give you so much more than the cameras and equipment. They're going to help guide you. They're going to coach you. They're going to direct you. We have a law firm we've been working with for three years now. We do video pretty much every month. There's some months, like summers that we don't. Um, but Eric, one of their partners, two years ago, he could barely get through two videos in an hour. Mm -hmm. He can do five videos in an hour now. Five for a lawyer, right? That's, that's amazing. He can come and bang it. He knows us. He knows what to do. He knows if he messes up or if he wants to stop and re-say re something in his head. He knows all that. He's been coached on how to be in front of the camera. And again, that did not happen overnight. That was a process. Yeah. If you don't know the process, you know, roll the dice and do it yourself or hire somebody, learn the process, and then you're going to be better 
to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, but the tools are the tools. You know, everybody's talking about AI now. Okay. Well, AI is a tool, right? Is that going to hurt my business? Well, AI is good for like putting in a prompt and having like these pictures and images videos show up, which I think are crap because I always want video to be people talking about things because people buy from people and people mm -hmm. build relationships with people. You know, you need to see their eyes. Um, one other thing that if anybody's still watching and listening to this, don't do video off camera. And, and for those listening, I'm literally turning my the camera to do a profile shot right now. Mm. I'm not looking at you. Look at the camera, right? Because when you talk to people in person, you meet them, you're looking at them. And that's another thing. It takes time to be comfortable. So a professional video production company can help you be comfortable looking at the camera. I love it. Can I get into another political question, uh, um, Robert? Is that okay with you? Okay, I love it. And again, we're talking to Robert Weiss here, Multivision Digital. Uh, my friend Nikki Clue, uh, she has an amazing uh, uh, home decor, you know, staging home decor. You know, like your home, Robert, all y'all people with the baller homes and the cool fireplace with the iPad set up. And, you know, you come into the home and jacuzzi comes on, all that fancy billion dollar people living. You know, she does that stuff. Uh, Nikki Clue is her name, Nikki on the run. Uh, I was talking to uh, Brandy Harvey, and I see some of her videos. She got you know, your kind of people coming in, the, the all the, the mics and all that stuff coming in. So my question is, can you talk a bit that about that, that that production quality? I, I do see a different, yeah, I'm sure I could hold my phone and, hey, this is Ramon, the show. I could, but I'm seeing their work. They're using professionals, and it looks just as good-ish as – Marcus Lemonis, the prophet, other things. So it's not really a question, it's more a statement, but can you just talk to that when we want to up a level and we're like, you know what? Yeah, as you said, please clients, use your phone and do it. Or I've seen your work, law firm, accounting firm hires you to come in and do it. But the third level, but you correct me, Robert, I'm just, you know, you're the expert here, is I see my friends doing more like episodic or it looks really good. It's like a show. Talk about doing that kind of stuff, if that makes sense, what I'm trying to ask. I'm not sure what you're trying to ask, but you can always level, you can always level up and you can always level more up. professional video, like doing a show, doing higher quality stuff. Like she has a podcast, but like, she's like, no, I want studio. I want a team to help me with the better audio audio. And that's what I'm trying to get at. Like, it seems my well, friends are doing higher level stuff. Goes, it probably goes into business objectives and where she is at in her video journey. Like I, I, I you know, if I look the first time I'm hearing her name, uh, if I go to her YouTube channel and I look, you know, X amount of years back, the production value is probably not as good as it is no, now. You're right. She didn't have the budgets to do that. Um, so she wasn't able to or she didn't want to. Yeah. Right? But now she knows how to do video. And, you know, we all like good video because mm -hmm. it's good video. Yeah. And that's where that level of investment comes in. Mm. In terms of, Video production companies always want as much as they can get because they know that's just a little extra time, a little extra equipment, a little sure. bit of post-production, like a voiceover, for example, or or stock stock music. I could purchase $60 stock music or I could purchase $300 stock music, right? The $300 stock music people will love, right? They'll tell, they'll know the difference, right? Mm -hmm. But that's just one small piece of the overall production, right? Which mm. is nominal. Sixty dollars to three hundred dollars is what two hundred and forty dollar difference, right? Not much, right. but again, that's just analogous to some of the other things: extra lights, or extra pieces of equipment, or color correction cameras. With smaller cameras, I can't do as much color correction as I can with bigger cameras. Mm. Right? So if you have a budget for small cameras, there's only so much I can do in post, you know, to, to fix things. So anyway, um, I guess that's my my. I story. love it, which all goes back what you wanted. But basically what I was doing wasn't so much focused on them, but I'll just mention the names again. Nikki Clue, Nikki on the move, uh, Nikki just shouting you out and Brandy Harvey, amazing podcast is to encourage those listening for how I'm putting it, Robert. Hey, you definitely use your smartphones, use your things like this. Then two, mm -hmm. as you up level to level one, I'll call it in my layman's terms, layperson's terms, then hire a professional videographer like Robert to even do your video like this, 
just to do it better, to have somebody else being able to worry about all the details and lower thirds and the color and audio and all that. And, and even give, I've worked with Robert to give input. Hey, Ramon, good job. Can you just say that again? Little things like that, just how I see it, Robert. Then three, kudos to my friends I was mentioning. They're doing stuff, it may not be like Disney, but for small businesses, it's the Disney of small business, if you get what I'm saying. They're like, no, we want to take it up to an even higher level and only Nikki wants to focus on what she does best design, but the team, people like yourself, can make everything look perfect. That's what I was trying to get at, if that makes sense. I'm actually looking at her YouTube channel right now. So yeah, um, and, and I bet if you asked Nikki, um, she and Nikki, sees- Nikki Klug, K-L-U-G-H, Nikki on the move. <laughs> She probably sees the value of video. Yeah. Where, you know, maybe when she first started, she she didn't. Yeah. Right. But again, that's the power of video. When you and and I've seen this time and time again with my clients. When they sorry, when they listen to me, right? <laughs> and they do the right thing, they always get a return on investment. Yeah, absolutely. Always. I love it. Again, everybody, we've been talking to Robert Weiss, my friend, known Robert for many, many years. He's an amazing business owner and human. <laughs> Robert Weiss, multi-vision digital. Sorry about that. Multi-vision digital. And uh, really talking about the power of video uh, and really teaching us, Robert. I'll turn it back to you for final comments about the aspect of thinking really what you want that video about, uh, what the channels are going to be. And then the last thing is now what we're going to do about it. I love the aspect you said, Robert, you wouldn't take out all the cooking equipment, put the stove move on, take out the grease, take out the flour, do all this stuff and say for one cookie, not going to happen. Robert, any last things you want to share with us, things that I should have asked you or things you wanted to share with us today? No, I think we covered a lot. I would just say uh, anybody still listening because I know we're at the tail end here. If you're thinking about video, um, get started. The best way to get good at video is to get started. Understand though, it's a process mm. right? and you, you won't be good at it the first or second time. It's the third time because you need to go through the pre-production, production and editing, post-production once or twice, you know, to really say, wow, OK, now I know how to perform in front of the camera. I am comfortable messing up because I know we can cover that in post or do something with that. And then kind of the, it takes off. It takes off from there. So get started today. And, and I think this is somebody else's quote. I don't remember, but. A year from now, you'll be glad you got started today. I love that. Again, Robert Weiss, Multivision Digital. Definitely check him and his team out. My name is Ramon Ray. This is The Rundown with Ramon. Check me out at RamonRay.com and or ZoneOfGenius.com. And we're glad you're here today. And again, check out Robert Rice, Robert Weiss of Multivision Digital.